one of my favorite pages of your book, and your book is great, is page 171. Oh, thank you. Okay. And 171 is a very crucial page to me because it, it gives you the insight what it's like to be a black man um, in a boardroom trying to get funding from a, from a venture capitalist in various meetings, especially when you come to meetings when people don't look like you. And you had a great stat. You had a great stat in there where, you, where it's like three percent of venture capital funding goes to women and minorities. And it feels yeah. like it's been three percent since the Obama administration. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm just looking for six. If you double it, it's ah. only 6%, which is not a lot. <laughs> 6% is double. nothing. <laughs> it's, but it's at least double. it's double. Right. What is it going to take for the Silicon Valley and just venture, venture capitalists and, 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 as, as a whole <laughs> to just say like, okay, here's some money. You have some great ideas. Because there's a lot of people who get money, who burn through their money, yet they get more funds. What is it going to take for them to really look at minorities, especially African-Americans? It's like, okay, we're going to take a chance on you because we believe in this idea. You know, I think it's tricky. What I like about in our history, when you look at sports, um, sports had a level playing field. So if you run how fast you do a quarter mile um, or how fast can you run 20 yards and, and make, make a left or right cut, how many, you know, buckets you make in a, in a game. And what's easy about sports is if you help the team win, the team sells more tickets and the owners make more money. Black or white, they don't care. What's a little vague is imagine if sports kind of had uh, a, a, an athlete needed to prove themselves they, they kind of there is a little bit of similarities in this but if they had to prove themselves and then a whole bunch of people all at the same time needed to agree on michael jordan versus one team and he joins that team and so vcs don't come alone they travel in packs and in and in their pack mentality they want um, to all believe in the same thing that this can be successful. And so they start to develop a pattern recognition bias. I choose not to call it racism because I think if, if black people start hitting the ball out of the park with making certain apps, people will follow that success. And so you saw how, uh, when it came to musical artists well people are like well, well shit you make money here so they'll follow the green when there's pattern recognition but building startups and tech is very hard to get you it's just so hard to get up that hill for the massive amount of capital you need to break through the stratosphere that people even know there's i think forty-one thousand apps, like you know some crazy number um to be a top 10 app. And that's the part that's challenging to break through that. 